keeping the laws is what's going to clean up the communities, all right? right? Not shooting each other up, not selling drugs to each other, following what the Bible says is going to keep us in order, all right? The book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. It says women should have modest apparel on, meaning modest clothing. Meaning women should be showing their cleavage, breasts hanging out, thighs showing, right. butt out, you know what I'm saying, showing your curves. Why is that? Right. Because if I see, as, as a man we walk around and you see a woman dressing like that, do you think he's going to take her as a wife? You think, he, you think a man wants to take a woman that dresses like a harlot or a prostitute as a wife? No. What's he going to want to do with her? There you go. Say that again, sis. Hit it and quit it. Hit it and get up out of there. All right? But we don't want that for our women. We want our women to be married. Get that real quick because marriage is what God wants. There's no such thing as boyfriend and girlfriend. Let me ask you this. Have you had a boyfriend throughout your lifetime? Now... How old are you? 50, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna dial it down there. So, in these days today, a lot of our a lot of our young children are having sex, correct? A lot of them. Now, what comes with sex? When you have sex, there's a possibility of what? Pregnancy. And children cannot raise babies. Right. right? They can't raise children. Now, what else comes with sex? Infectious diseases. You, you're a bright young sister. You already understand that. Now, can, is there any way, if you never had sex, I'm not going to use you because you're too, if a woman's never had sex and a man's never had sex and they sleep together, can they have a disease? Only if what? If the parent had gave it to them before. But let's say, take them out the equation. They don't have any diseases. Two people that come together, had sex. Can you have, is there a possibility of having an STD or STI? No, correct? Read this. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. God says marriage is honorable in all. He didn't say boyfriend and girlfriend is honorable in all. He don't say uh, a, a one-night stand is honorable. He didn't say uh, a fling or a baby mama is honorable. Go ahead. And the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. God's going to judge the people that are sleeping around. That's what he said. Right. And like you said, how do you get judged? Pregnancies, unwanted pregnancies. Another way is the STDs, like you said. Another way is if I'm sleeping around with a woman and I get her pregnant and I really don't care about her and she has that kid, what's going to happen to me for the next 18 years? Child support. There you go. This is why God says marriage is honorable. We shouldn't be sleeping around. There, there should only be one woman that knows how I feel. I should only know how one woman feels. Let's 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 get deeper though. Hold on, you 15. Let's let's keep it off of that. Go back to um 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. We're gonna be real out here, right? We're gonna, we're gonna show you what the ch the churches are not teaching you. Right. Alright? It shouldn't be it shouldn't be okay for a woman in church to be pregnant and everybody throwing a baby shower for her, a celebration. That's a shame. A woman that's not married having a baby in a church and y'all throwing a baby shower for them? That's that's rewarding wickedness. That doesn't make any sense. Let's go. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? God says the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. So if God says the unrighteous will not, that means the righteous will. Let me get you what's right. Hold that. Get uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 25. I'm going to show you what's righteous. So that way we can determine how to get the kingdom of God. All right. This, this, this book is a puzzle. You have to put it together like God says. Precept upon precept. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 25 This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25 Hey my sisters come over here and learn about your history Go ahead And it shall come to pass Come on sis come on over here And it shall be our righteousness He said it shall be our righteousness if we what? If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God God says to do all the commandments not some we are to strive to keep all his commandments. That's what holds us to be righteous in his eyes. That's how we get the kingdom of heaven. Let's go back to 1 Corinthians 6 and 9 and see what's unrighteous, okay? The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Let's see what's unrighteous. 
Be not deceived. He says, be not deceived because in this world, we're deceived. We're taught that the, the, the bad things are good and it's okay to do them now. But what does God say? Neither fornicators. Uh-oh, fornicators is being unrighteous like we just spoke about. Right. So having a boyfriend and girlfriend and sleeping around is unrighteous, right? What's up? So, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, verse, uh, chapter 5, verse 17. Uh -huh. uh, all things old, right. uh, null and void. Yes, sir. Except Jesus Christ in your heart. Yes, sir. So if you're a transgressor, right? Yes, sir. If you did some of these things you're reading, right. you accept Jesus in your heart. Right. He's all good, right? And what you, you mean all good as far as? You, you repent. To repent, Jesus okay, Christ, there you go. And you don't retransgress. And there you go. The same old, same old again. Right, right. You strive to not do it no more. You're right. Exactly. That's what makes you righteous, uh, right? Yeah, but so like the whole old school null and void, he's talking about like the Old Testament. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to get to that real quick. I'm, 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 I'll finish this up and I'm going to get to your question. Hey, sis, finish this up real quick. So fornicators is unrighteous. Nor idolaters. No idolaters. Being an idolatry, worshiping all these other images and things of that nature. Go ahead. Nor adulterers. Being an adulterer is unrighteous. Right. Nor effeminate. Even being effeminate. A man walking around switching his, and being sassy, you know what I'm saying, dressing like a oh, that's that's God doesn't like that. He doesn't know. It's not good to him. Because what does that do? Once, once a man starts walking around like that, it, it teaches other children to do that stuff. Now, now, now boys want to be like women now. God says there's a separation between man and woman. So that's unrighteous. Go ahead. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. When it says abusers of themselves with mankind, it's talking about homosexuality, all right? Man should not be laying with man. Woman should not be laying with woman according to God. That is an abomination. Go ahead. Nor thieves. Nor thieves because you don't want nobody stealing from you. I don't want that. Nor covetous. Being covetous. Always want what somebody else has. Not being content. Not being, co not being good with what God gave you. You want what the next man has. All right, go ahead. No drunkards. He ain't drunk out here. We had a man come up here acting a, a damn fool and thinking it was okay. But it's not okay according to God. Because when you're not in your right mind, you're not going to be keeping the commandments. Go ahead. No revilers. Being a reveler, being out here doing all this partying, excess partying, drinking, sleeping around. That's what it's going into. Go ahead. No extortioners. Extortioner, go ahead. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. He says they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Anybody doing these things and they don't repent and stop doing it, they cannot inherit the kingdom of God. All right? Now, sis, the laws of God is what's going to keep us keep us good. Go to Leviticus 19 and 11 real quick. I'm going to show you something real quick. 19 verse 11, then we're going to jump to verse 17. All right? Now, we're going to we're gonna name some things and let me know if, if people in this community would keep these laws, would it be a better place? Go ahead. Hey, my brother, my brother, come over here real quick. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 19 and verse 11. Ye shall not steal. Ye shall not steal. Now, sis, if we would stop stealing these communities, wouldn't it make us a better place? Go ahead. Neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. If we stop lying, that would help, right? If we don't lie, go ahead. Verse 17. Verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. God says if we do not hate our brother in our heart. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Suffering sin means you allow somebody to break a law. Like you're, you're okay with it. You see somebody about to commit a, a sin and you just let it happen. You don't try to rebuke them, try to stop them. Same for me, says if, if you saw me doing something wrong, you being my sister, I would hope that you would say, brother, don't do that. Right. There's consequences for that action. You can go to jail, you get killed, something happens to your family. That's rebuking. That's what rebuking is. All right? That's what we're supposed to be doing in our communities, telling each other to stop doing these crimes. Keep going. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Now, we're not supposed to hold grudges against our people. Now, I know we, we're a stubborn, stiff-necked people according to the Lord God. We hate each other, right? A lot of us hate each other. But that doesn't give us the right to hate each other back. Like, if I, if I am mad at you, that shouldn't give you a, a reason to hate me. All right? You should pray for me and try to resolve the situation, whatever it is. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.